You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop, and it's time for another Disney Parks exclusives. It's a Jolly Pops Jawbreaker Lollipop, as you can see, with Mickey Mouse ears on it. And uh, you basically just uh, open the ears and start eating. It's on a stick. Let's see if we can take a better look at that. It's a reflecting a lot of my light here. Let me do a top down. That might help. There's so many lights in here. It's, uh, you see them all reflecting in the ears. See? Lights hitting. Lights not hitting. Lights hitting. Lights not hitting. Okay, I think you get it. Now this is kind of reminiscent of some other jawbreakers we've done in the past. So let's see if we can easily get it out. Okay, so you can just leave it like that, actually, if you want. If you don't want to take that sticker off. And then get in there and give it a taste. Mmm. What does that remind me of? Well, it reminds me of a couple other jawbreakers. We had some mini ones that we showed in another video. And then we also had a giant one that uh, I was supposed to do something with in a previous video. So I think I'm going to do that today. But I'm going to use this one as my test, right? Why upset an $8 jawbreaker? I still want to eat that, right? Or share that. I want to see if I can cut this in half. So I'm going to do that off camera, you know, just in case. And then come back and then we'll check out this one. Because we'll taste this one then once I cut it. So we'll be right back. All right, so here we go. Uh, I wasn't going to show you this, but it looks pretty cool to watch, so why not get some video of it? And, of course, I will have my safety goggles on. Now, this is a Bosch FS2000 Fine Cut Saw. Now, I picked this, one, because I had a clean blade here, and two, because it's got fine teeth, and you don't want something that's got super uh, sharp teeth or big teeth because that'll just hack this up. And as you can see, I've worked my way pretty far. I went off kilter a little bit there, but I was just kind of getting used to using the tool and making the cutting. So, of course, don't try this at home. Nobody try it at home, because now I'm doing it and you don't have to. Now you can see how it works. So let me get my safety goggles on. And this saw works on a nice uh, pendulum here. So it goes up and down. So you'd normally put your piece of wood trim in there and just, you know, cut straight down. So let me just turn it on so you can hear it. If you got to adjust your speakers or your headphones, here's what it sounds like. Okay, so you see there's still a lot of powder here from the cuts where I started. And it's nice, I can keep my hand pretty far away. And I'm just going to go real slow. I'll just show you a little bit here.
halfway through now. I feel like I'm through the stick. My left hand is cramping up. Gotta be very steady. Okay, I need to uh, relax my left hand. It is very much in pain because I didn't want to move, but uh, I'll be back in just a second. All right, so what have we learned in shop class today? Well, number one, don't try this at home. Number two, um, there's no reason to cut a jawbreaker now because you've seen it here, and now you see the inside. And we're not done yet because I realize now that uh, I definitely don't want to cut that. I just want to smash it, take out my aggression from the cutting here. This was very stressful on my hands, just holding it and being as steady as possible. Um, but it worked. Now, as you can see, not as even as I would have liked, but it's still a good uh, indication of the inside. I saved all my powder over there. So I just kind of want to wet it now. And I'm going to have to wet it with, yeah, my saliva. Hold on a second. There. Does that look better? Does that look cool? Now we see what the core looks like. Now this popsicle stick must only go so far because it's not halfway through. But take a look at it. Doesn't that need all the different layers and colors? Maybe I could just lay it here and get a nice close-up in the light here. Let me do that. It's a rainbow of colors inside. It's easier when it's flat and steady. Okay, there's still powder all over the table. How's that? Does that look cool? Let me, uh, let me take a wet of the other, let me wet the other one here, hold on. I think that's pretty neat. Yes, that's my saliva. Sorry, everybody. But, you know, we all have it, so. What's next? I'm just kind of letting you look at that. Well, I think I need to go smash it. Now, I have a couple sledgehammers. And, uh, let me go set up and do that. I think I want to do that outside. It's a nice sunny day. Maybe set out a nice sheet, a white sheet on the ground, and then just, uh, Give it a smash. Let's go do that. Okay, I am outside. I have my one of my sledgehammers. This is a short handle sledge. And uh, I put a sheet down because I want to try to save my pieces, right? I don't want it all over the place. I want to be able to eat it. And then uh, I have it wrapped on a little kitchen uh, napkin to kind of isolate it so that if I hit it wrong, it doesn't just shoot across and knock me in the shin or something like that. Now, I do need to take it out of the plastic, so let me do that next. This is one shot here. I don't have multiple shots, so however it happens now, 
It'll be recorded forever. Decided to go in the sun. I was in the shade. Just didn't seem like it was good enough. Here we go. Okay, it's ready. That little ant. There's a little ant running around over there. Well, he's going to feel some shrapnel. So here we go. On the count of three. One. Two. Three. All right, now check that out. And look at all the pieces, they flew everywhere. So much for trying to isolate it. So let me gather them up and check them out in more detail. All right, there you go. Uh, gathered it all onto the sheet. As you can see, the center core was found. The pieces probably flew at least 10, 15 feet away. So my sheet, you know, protected some of it. So what I want to do now is uh, actually just bring it inside and look at it in a little more detail. All right, I am back. I've collected all my materials. I thought that was uh, pretty good. It worked. If I didn't have it wrapped in the bottom napkin, it might have just shot out like a cannonball, and then it wouldn't have uh, contained all the pieces, to some degree anyway. And what I've been doing now is just trying to fit pieces, because I could tell now this is getting pretty snug as to what it originally looked like. Here, you can see this piece will just fit in the way I had it, if I can remember the way I had it. Oh, like that. See how it fits right back in? So I was just trying to match up this piece. Very intriguing to me, getting it all back together some way, shape, or form. That's really close. I think that's kind of where that goes. So now I've got my ball shape, and then this piece, this one's really been intriguing me, but now that I just picked it up, oh, that's exactly where it goes. So I don't think I'll ever officially get it back together, but it seems as though... Look at that. It's hard to hold, too. I have to tell you, cutting it with the saw, that really took a lot of stress on my hands. For one, you want it to be as stable as possible. Uh, because, you know, my hands are important, right? I think that fits right there. I'm not sure. Let's see if I can get a few more in here. So what did you like better, the cutting or the smashing? I'm not sure that goes there. Let me see if this one... No. The rest of the pieces are very small. I won't be able to piece them back together. Let me just give you a quick zoom in on what the scrap pieces were. I mean this one, look at that, that might fit. Oh, it does, look. Right, oh, I didn't show it to you. Let me zoom back out. This one, I found on the plate, look. Fit right back in there. I'll never be able to get the that inner, ooh, that's it right there. Look. Okay. Again, the cutting part. Uh, that, that was just for demonstration. Not something I think you should ever do. Don't ever try it, okay? There has to be some safety protocols there. I think I'm okay, because at this point, this is just the top layer that's been knocked off. I also adjusted my lighting to make it a little darker in here because it was... I think that does fit right there. So a stray piece. Can't go up there. It's going to have to go somewhere here. Right there. If I could just fit that last piece somewhere, this big piece, 
I'm thinking it kind of fits in here, like that. So here was the impact. And I noticed when I checked my sheet, the actual sheet uh, was ripped. I hit it so hard, put a hole in the sheet. So there we go. There is my smashed ball. Now I'll probably never put it back together then because I have to eat this, right? Lots of good pieces. So now let's look at it. That's what I ended up with. And uh, pretty neat, isn't it? There was the core. Now you remember the cut one? We cut this one. Do I need to wet it again? I think I do. Because it just looks so much cooler. I would say overall, a really good experiment. Let me have a little piece here, a little shrapnel. Now that ding. That bell-like sound. Mm. Fruity flavors. That was actually, when I put the sheet down, I put a weight on each corner. Because it was a little windy. And one of them was a metal can. And when it broke, a piece of that shrapnel must have hit it just right. It was like a ceremonious ding at the correct spot. But I need to hear from everybody out there. Finally got to it. I said I was going to do it, and I finally did it. Leave it in the comments. Did you like the cutting, or did you like the smashing? I think we satisfied both, uh, both of the top two methods and again, thanks for watching. It's really appreciated. And everybody who's helping with thumbing up, that really helps us. It helps the video. And then if you share it, if you share our videos on some type of social media, um, it helps the video gain some traction and let everybody out there know who Lucky Penny Shop is. It's really appreciated. And thanks for all the comments out there. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Later. Well, you know what? I had to come back and show you something because I was just about to clean it all up and then realized I never showed you the center balls on either of them. This one here is a hard candy. This one here, though, is a squishy gum. So take a look at that. I think I'm going to enjoy eating that. I just wanted to follow up there and, you know, go over all the details. So again, thanks for watching. It's really appreciated. Later! If you want to find this item, click the link in the description area below the video. You can also watch more videos in this series by clicking here. Thanks for watching. And always remember, if you see a lucky penny, pick it up.